difficulties. But I am back and I am live with you here on Tasty Tuesday. Woohoo! So, guys, we're here on this Tasty Tuesday because I get to share with you my exciting new product. Yes, let me show you what it is. Because you remember Sunday night, I got to share with you this item. So we're going to feature this information for you so you know the product number. And the product number that we're talking about is the product number for our new dual brew coffee maker. It is item number 5865. And it is a dual brew two in one. Now, many of you actually may have two different types of coffee makers in your home because some of you have the type of coffee maker where you use the pods and then you also have a coffee maker when you want to make a large carafe of coffee. Well, when you have our new dual brew coffee maker, you only need one. And tonight, I get to share with you all the features that I didn't get to share with you on Sunday because on Sunday, I was just unboxing it. I have had a chance to use it, and now I get to share some of the features with you. First of all, one of the major things we want to know about making coffee is that you really want to make sure that you are using coffee that, I mean, using water that is absolutely purified. You want purified coffee and our reservoir for the coffee, I mean, for the water is one that allows you to fill it according to how many cups of coffee you're making. So if you're doing two cups all the way up to the maximum of 14. But again, you wanna make sure that you're using water that is healthy water that has been purified. Now, for those of you who do not have a water filtration system, I want to share on another evening that Princess House has brought back our water filtration system. Our new system is the Refresh system, and I'll be sharing more information on it with you on a later date. But using our Refresh system, I filled my reservoir with water that I knew was 100% filtered. Now, the next thing that you want to do is decide how much coffee are you making? Are you making just a single cup for yourself or are you making a larger pot of coffee to share with others? So let's assume that you are making a pot of coffee to share with others. What is so exciting about our coffee maker is that our decanter is perfect for brewing different amounts of coffee. You can brew anywhere from four cups up to 14 cups. And our nice surface is one that heats and stays heated for up to two hours. After two hours, it automatically shuts off so that you don't have any issues happening because you left your coffee maker on. Now, of course, when you're making a larger amount of coffee, you might be one of those that loves to wake up in the morning and actually grind fresh beans. And if that's the case, you just simply put your beans in and grind them. Now, earlier this evening, uh, I did grind these in my grinder. And of course, the smell of the fresh ground beans is amazing. Mmm. Coffee lovers love that flavor of fresh, just absolutely freshly ground beans. And if that were the case, you have the ability to put all of your ground beans in, of course, our wonderful filter. Now, this is a reusable filter. 
You can also use the throwaway filters if you'd like, but this is the reusable filter. And of course, you would typically put one tablespoon of ground coffee per cup. Now, what is nice about our system is that you can put either the single brew or the larger brew in the holder. So you simply put the holder in. Let's pretend we fill this with our freshly ground coffee. Put it in place. You'll put your lid down and then you will hit the program button to brew your carafe. Now there's a feature that I want to share with you. When you're using your carafe, there will be an illumination on the carafe side of your coffee maker settings. Now when you are brewing a single cup of coffee, you have to pull this center section down and when you do, the system automatically knows that you're going to make a single cup. So let's pretend I'm making a single cup and I'm using, I've got to feature this for you so that you can see it. This is so nice. This is our brand new item number 3497 winterberry coffee mugs and they do come in a set of four. So we're going to pretend that I am going to make a single brew and I am putting my cup on and then when I put my cup on what happens is that it's actually going to move over to the cup setting by me pressing program and when I press program I get to choose how many ounces I am going to brew. And I can either brew a single up to either six, eight, I'm sorry, either eight, 10, or 12 ounces. And I'm just checking because I'm gonna do this again because my program setting needed to change. Hold on just a minute. And I need to make sure when I put the cup on that it has done just that. And of course, when I hit program, it will change to the single cup. And as I hit the program, it should change from how many different ounces of coffee I want to brew. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to put my section in that will hold my coffee. And I'm going to place this in, and it snugly places inside so that I'm able to put my pot in. So here we go, guys, just a second. And you can use this pod of coffee, or if you are a tea drinker, you can get green tea. If you are someone who enjoys hot chocolate, you can get the pods of hot chocolate. So I put this in. I'm going to lower it down. Just a second, guys. I need to lock this in place. As you can see, I'm still familiarizing myself with our wonderful maker. Got to make sure it's locked in place. Now it's locked in place. I'm going to lower it. And then right now I have it set on 12 ounces, but if I wanted to change it to eight, I could, 10 or 12. Now that I've done that, all I have to do is hit the brew button and give it a few minutes. You'll hear the water getting hot and it will brew. Something I wanna share with you too is that if you're making multi-cups in your decanter in the morning and let's say you want to leave the home and maybe your husband's going to be there and you want to be able to grab that cup of coffee to take with you out the door to work we have an amazing item for you this is item number five seven nine six it is an insulated 18 ounce tumbler so what you would do if your pot of, let's say, 12 cups of coffee is brewing and you want to grab some on your way out the door, you can actually remove 
your decanter of coffee, place your tumbler in, and you have 30 seconds to get your coffee that you're going to take with you, and then you can place, of course, your decanter back on, and it will continue to brew. So remember that, that you can actually sneak in there with your tumbler for a cup of coffee on your way out the door. Now, as you can see, right now my coffee is brewing. And one of the things I have loved about the new coffee maker is the fact that it makes hot coffee. I love hot coffee. I don't like lukewarm or warm coffee. And this coffee is extremely hot when it comes out. And I'll share with you how it looks. But I also, because it is Tasty Tuesday, I want to talk to you about some ways to spice up your coffee. If you like coffee, you also like different flavors in your coffee. So one of the first flavors I'm going to share with you is cinnamon. You can either use ground cinnamon or you can use cinnamon sticks. And the nice thing about adding cinnamon to your coffee is that cinnamon is an immune system booster. So not only does it spice up your coffee, but it also helps with your immune system. Let me take a look at this nice hot cup of coffee that we have just had freshly brewed. I'm going to let it finish. And while it's finishing, I want to talk to you about another spice you might choose to use. Now, some of you may not have heard of cardamom, but cardamom is a Middle Eastern and Indian spice, so it's a little different flavor, but it gives your coffee just an extra special taste. Let me share this cup with you guys. Take a look. My freshly brewed cup. And if you can hear, the coffee sensor is closing down because my single cup has been made. Another thing that's really great in coffee is mint. And if you have one of the peppermint oils, just put a couple drops in your coffee. And what it does, is it gives you a soft, refreshing taste that is so good. Another item that many of you already love in your coffee is Cocoa powder! Who doesn't like chocolate? And when you add a teaspoon of cocoa powder to your coffee, it gives that chocolatey taste that really gives you that little kick of caffeine that you might need in the afternoon. Also, another thing that you may not have even thought about, if you don't like that bitterness in coffee, you can put just a little bit of salt in the coffee and that takes away that aftertaste or bitterness that may be prevalent to some people in coffee. And then, who doesn't like vanilla extract? Not only is vanilla extract very good in your coffee, but other natural extracts are great, such as hazelnut, and even almond extract, because almond extract really has that taste of amaretta, so it's really good. And then lastly for spices, how about putting a little ginger in your coffee? Fresh slices of ginger, about two to three slices, can be used, or you can use ground ginger. And boy, oh boy, you will think you are having one of those freshly made ginger cookies or gingerbread because it's going to taste so good. Now, those are some of the spices that you can use to spice up your coffee. But in the evening, you may want to spice it up with a little adult beverage. And I have three adult beverages I'm going to share with you. One of those is Tia Maria. This is so good in your coffee. 
Another is bourbon. Maybe a tablespoon of bourbon might suit you in your coffee. And then lastly, I am going to share with you something that I brought back from Costa Rica earlier this year. And believe it or not, this is tequila, but it's tequila that is made for coffee. It is designed to be used in coffee. So there are so many adult beverage items that are great for after dinner coffees. So I also want to share with you when it's not the holiday season, you may want to use one of our regular Marbella mugs. This is item number 1703. And again, these come in a set of four and they're on sale right now. So you may want to grab those while they're on sale because you can use these every day of the year and not just during the holidays. And I have got to end by telling you about the special that we have on our dual brew coffee server. Now, obviously, I'm sharing with you right now that the retail value of our number 5865 is $389.95. However, if you like deals, you will want to host your very own Prince's House showing. Because right now, when you are a super premium host, you can get your coffee server for just $89.95. So, you better snag it while you can, or if you're in my network and you're attending one of my upcoming events, you will find a special deal that I'm offering to my customers. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed my Tasty Tuesday as I share with you how to spice up your coffee and how to use our new coffee maker. Until we meet again, and that's going to be real soon, have a good night, guys.